Okay guys, this is Barconi, old grandpa on the air, Corpus Christi, Texas. Today I'm going to do a little demonstration of a quick and dirty SWR bandwidth curve using your inline meter and your radio. Of course it'd be nice if you had a, a meter like this that you don't have to adjust. It's not adjustable. This side here indicates the SWR going up this way, one through infinite over here. Over on this side the needle represents RF. Right here I'm showing my radio is set to 10% of its power. That happens to be 120 watts. So this is going to be represented on this screen or should be 12 watts. So I'm going to get back into regular mode. I'm going to work at the center CV band or close to it 27205. And I'm going to go up and down frequency with this radio and show you how the bandwidth affects, uh, uh, is affected by this antenna. And I'm on my Marconi 7X right at the moment, connected uh, direct to the meter with the antenna. And it, <coughs> using a one foot jumper from the antenna, uh, from, the, from this meter to my radio, a one foot jumper. That cuts down on any additional, more than necessary. Shortest line you can get between your meter and your feed line will be helpful because if your feed line is reactive, it uh, it might throw some of your numbers off a little bit. So that just kind of helps see what the feed line sees instead of it being affected by another line as a jumper. Six foot, three foot, they all will make a difference in these readings. Maybe not much, but it will make a difference. All right, now right now I'm going to show you what my SWR, my RF output is uh, set up for uh, at 27205, uh, channel 20 roughly, or 2119, whatever it is. I don't know, somewhere around in there. All right, right now it's reading 12 watts, like I thought, 10% of 120 watts. And it's uh, right here is SWRs. Relatively fl flat right there. Okay, I'm going to unkey. And then what I'm going to do is I'm going to go down in frequency as far as it'll go until this needle right here goes up to two right here. Goes up to two. That's the two right there under my pointer. That's the two right there. Okay, just kind of take, keep an eye on that. And you'll see it. I'm going to go uh, up in frequency first until I get to uh, as high as it'll go to get me to two. Okay? Here we go. Off we go. See that needle rising there? Okay, I'm going to stop right there because I'm pretty close. Now, we're right down, right down 29140. That's the high frequency of a two to one SWR less than, a gr uh, less than two to one SWR. High frequency 29140. Write that down. I'm going to do that right now. Take time to do that right now. 27140. I mean 29. Need my glasses on. 29140. Okay, because we're going to subtract the low side and get our bandwidth. This is just quick and dirty. Okay, now we're going to go down. I'm going to key it. Kelly, and watch it go down. And then it's going to go back up again when it passes a resonant frequency, and then we're going to stop. Key up and see, that's too high. Okay, that's probably low right there. That's probably a good low because that's right on the mark. Now we're going to write down 25.420. We're going to subtract that. That's two zero zero four megahertz. Four four megahertz of a difference in uh, in our uh, is our bandwidth for this uh, for this antenna SWR bandwidth. By the way, because I also do one for. Uh, for uh, my analyzer. 
and I'll do something similar to it. I'm writing this down and I'm going to show it to you on the screen. Right there you'll see. That's what, oops, I made a mistake. 29. 29, 140. I'm full of mistakes. 29, 140 minus 25, 420. That's where we are right now, 25, 420. We went up to 20. That's 4 megahertz of bandwidth. Now, let me tell you, boys, that's more, way, way more than enough for you to work at CB antenna. You don't have to get it perfect anywhere in there. If this antenna wasn't resonant at uh, 27205, which is just about the best SWR it's going to get, yeah, that's not to worry. That's plenty of bandwidth for you to work in. For 40 channels, that's only, you're talking about 4 megahertz here, and the CB bandwidth is only 400 kilohertz wide. You ain't got no problem. Maybe, maybe it's 600, 400, 400 something kilo. Yeah, just right at 400 kilohertz wide, I think, compared with 4 megahertz. You ain't got no problem with a, using a quarter wave whip if it's got a good ground plane. That's the key, the good ground plane. That's what I've got up there in this antenna that I've built, this uh, little Marconi, I call it. 7X. It's got seven radials. I don't know what you all think about it. I know I've already got some criticism about what do I think happens to the radials that are horizontal as opposed to those that are slanted down. What does this one do and what does that one do? You know, I don't give a hoot as long as I get, as long as I get a bandwidth that looks like this right here. And as long as I get a resonant frequency down in the 27 megahertz frequency. That's that's good right there. Look at it. We're going to go all the way across 40, 40 channels. That's a, a one point. Uh, that's less than one point two right there. Now we go down to chan channel one, 65, 20, 65. Heck, that's as flat as you're going to get it. You go, boys ain't got nothing to worry about if you got a, a bandwidth like that on any antenna. I'll guarantee you, you're going to try to operate resin. Okay, that's quick and dirty. SWR bandwidth. One of these days I'll make a analyzer bandwidth video similar to it, but it's far more complicated using my meter at any rate. Now if we had one like Bob uses, it's does it in a second instead of five seconds, it wouldn't be nothing to show you. Just hook it up and go. Okay? But at any rate, I hope y'all got a little information from this about bandwidth and how I do it. How old grandpa. Y'all don't have to do it this way. Y'all can do it however you want to do it or don't do it at all. But this is what Grandpa does. When you see a bandwidth curve from me, the down at the bottom end of it, you're going to see, you're going to see, here's an example of one right there. You're going to see down at the bottom end of it right here is what's called the inline meter bandwidth. See that right down there? See that right down there? Right down there. Inline meter bandwidth. That's, that's, that's where I put the SWR bandwidth. Okay, this is all the time I've got for today on bandwidth, but I hope y'all get a little information from this thing and and uh, enjoy your antennas. Get them resonant, boy, key them down and talk. You'll do as good as you, that antenna is going to do you if you get your bandwidth like I just demonstrated. Okay, y'all have a good day. This is old Grandpa, Corpus Christi, Texas, broadcasting live and in color on your two-way radio. By the way, let me turn it up. Just so you know the radio was on, okay? See you.